and now it's time to hear from some of our graduates. It gives me great pleasure to introduce our next two speakers. Isra Jahan and Alessandro Pallarito are two of our graduates this evening. <coughs> sure. They'll be sharing with you their experience as internationally trained professionals and paid participants over the past few years. So please welcome Isra Jahan, our first participant speaker. A warm welcome. gentlemen, it's a great pleasure to be here and to have the opportunity to speak and share my personal story with you this evening. A year ago, I never would have thought that it would be possible that I would be standing here delivering this speech today. First, I would like to express my sincere thanks to TRCA for developing this pay program and the Ministry of Citizenship and Immigration for funding this excellent service that is vital to the success of the internationally trained engineers in Ontario. I am also very grateful to Nicole Pira, Michelle Benford, and Costan Dirichs for their perfect logistics support, guidance, and encouragement which has contributed to my success. I landed in Canada as a skilled immigrant in December of 2009. At that time, my expectation was that I would get a job very quickly in my professional field. Since I had already completed my bachelor's degree in civil engineering from the Bangladesh University of Engineering and Technology, and had over four years of experience in the field of environmental and water resources engineering. To find a job in my field, I searched for jobs online, worked on developing the skills and learning the software packages that are important for getting a job in Canada. I studied the engineering terms used by the Canadian employers in order to communicate my skills and experience and research the Canadian workplace culture. However, after a lot of time and effort, I did not receive any interview calls, and I could not figure out why I had not been able to find employment in my field. It affected my self-esteem, as my family, friends, and relatives were all very hopeful about my future, and I knew they really expected more from me. I was worried about the success in the civil engineering field in Canada. Ultimately, it pushed me into financial crisis. At this point, it became necessary for me to take a survival job and I became a tutor in the Afzal Islamic Montessori School while continuing to try to get a job in my professional field. Eventually, one of my relatives informed me about the PE program. And fortunately, after applying and attending the interview, I was selected as one of the participants. I was incredibly nervous because this was my first professional interview in Canada and I did not know what to expect. I am very thankful to the interviewers for the support and for giving me a chance to explain my skills and experience. I had my first child, a baby girl, a month after joining PEI in September 2010. The birth of my baby prompted me to think more deeply and seriously about my career and what I was going to do to support my family. I knew that it was ultimately up to me to launch my career and brighten my family's future. Knowing this, I committed myself fully to the training provided by the PEI program. I studied hard and I did a lot of self-reflection. I thank God for helping me. I am very helpful to my husband, my parents, my daughter, and obviously the PEI program coordinator for their continuous support. I really appreciated and learned from the individual job search counseling, resume and in interview training, and professional advice I received from the pay staff during the course of the program. The positive reinforcement I received 
boosted my confidence. And I clearly see how the workplace culture and soft skills workshops I attended during the program contributed to my success. All of this helped me to obtain a 12-month work placement with York Region, which was my first real step in continuing my career as an engineer in Canada. While in my work placement, I was involved in updating and improving York Region's water and wastewater capital uh, delivery projects in respect of project management implementation process to find out which processes are working well and what needs improvement. As a result of the opportunity I received to work with York Region through the PE program, I was able to successfully obtain a salaried position as a special project technologist with York Region's Environmental Services Department in the Capital Planning and Delivery Branch. Now I am responsible for assisting and supporting the delivery of capital projects in respect of project startup, consultant selection, environmental assessment, design and tender, and construction. I'm very proud to be a regional employee and to give back to the community. I would like to say that pay program has changed my life, helping me to build my career at York Region. I'm deeply indebted to my pay staff team for their continuous support and guidance, which has helped me to be successful in the job. I would like to thank all the instructors, employers, and mentors who supported this program. And lastly, I would like to congratulate my PAE colleagues on their many successes. In my opinion, PAE is the most successful and effective program that exists for newcomers. I have been involved in other job search programs, and honestly speaking, PAE is a unique program, and there is nothing else like it. Pay supportive, encouraging, and hardworking staff helped me to launch my career and also the careers of many other internationally trained engineers. And I'm very happy that I'm now working in my professional field and am contributing to the Canadian economy. I hope that the government will continue to fund the pay program so that more newcomers will have the access to the same opportunities that I have had. I feel proud of how far I, I have come and how much I have learned. I feel that I can be now a strong role model for my daughter and teach her that with hard work, you can accomplish your dreams. Today, I see a bright future of myself and my family. Thank you for listening to my story. I hope that you enjoy the rest of our celebration. for sharing your story and our very sincere congratulations to you and your family for all of your hard work and your accomplishments. Please give a warm welcome now to our next participant speaker, Alessandro Pellerico. That you are going to give me. I'm, I'm going to prepare my podium as a professional. Uh, thanks to the, to the suggestion of my daughter Maya and my son Lorenzo. Uh, I want to feel comfortable because I'm very nervous speaking now to these beautiful people. And so let me please. <laughs> Thank you so much. Uh, good evening. My name is uh, Alessandro and I am a participant of the PAY program 2010-2012. Uh, as uh, Israel already did, thank you. As 
Yes, uh, Israt uh, already did. Uh, before I start my speech, I want to thank TRCA for developing the pay program and the Ontario Ministry of Citizenship and Immigration for founding it. I also want to thank my pay colleague for sharing with me many hours over the past two years and all of you for taking the time to listen to my words today. I'm sorry I have to read it because in that way I'm sure that I don't make English mistake. <laughs> uh, as some of you may already know uh, or understood, I am Italian and uh, my, my hometown is Palermo. Palermo, Sicily. Uh, me and my wife decided to come to Canada uh, to improve our quality of life and to raise our two children, Lorenzo and Maya, in, in, in the best country of the world. So two years ago, we left our jobs, our homes, uh, cars and bikes. We left family and friends and we landed here with our luggage full of hope, willingness to succeed and shoes, of course. Canada became our home, as in the national anthem. When I was in Italy, I used to work as a manager for the government, Minister of Environment, leading about uh, 50 co-workers. Meanwhile, I was a part-time professor at university, so I thought that all the Ontario employers were waiting for me at the person airport, <laughs> fighting to hire me. My wife, uh, as usual, the, the wife, those, uh, was more realistic than me, and maybe for that reason she immediately found the three jobs. <laughs> uh, as soon as I found a good jacket for the Canadian winter, I started the path of the immigrant that all of us know. I was an adult in Italy, but in Canada I had the experience and the needs of a teenager. My first challenges were to understand and get tools that for almost any teenager of the world are taken for granted. Driver's license, credit history, where to find pasta, how to search for a home, how to search for a job. I attended job fairs, downtown Toronto, job search workshops, language assessment, and of course, espresso tasting to find the best. <laughs> my days were so full, and, that, and it was hard for me to find a program related to my professional profile. Despite that, every night, even when I was without a job, even without pasta al dente, I knew that I was making a step toward my Canadianization. All those challenges were building my muscle. I remained strong and I never gave up. Thanks to the advices of an immigrant service worker, I learned about and applied for the TRCA pay program. I remember very well the day that I came at the, at the office and I brought my application to the TRCA. I filled that envelope with the information, documents, and hopes. I met, I met the administrative assistant, and she was so kind. She introduced me to Michelle Benford, that she was even more kind. And I remember our conversation on the phone when she called me to arrange the interview. I was so happy. I remember the interview with Nicole, with Joe Jotna, uh, Sh Shazad, and always the smiling faces and kind people. I'm sure you agree on. Uh, going back home, I was begging with myself to have the opportunity to be enrolled in the program. I think that 700 professionals applied, and like you, my friend, I was so proud when I get the, the when I be when I was enrolled into the pro program. When the program started, I had the perception to be finally in the right place. I was in an intercultural environment, sharing my feelings and hopes with people from all the world, from world, from world world. <laughs> yeah. Attending the program, I understand that at, until that moment I was like Rocky in the first part of Rocky One, <laughs> if you if you remember. I had the skill and the willingness to succeed, my muscle, uh, but I missed the techniques and the tools, just like Rocky uh, when he was without a trainer. If you remember that part of the movie, you very angry in his house. <laughs> I was without a trainer. So the teacher and the manager of the pay program gave me the tools. I can think of it. I learned how to sell my skill, customize resume and cover letters. How important it is to understand the differences in communication with the workplace culture and communication course facilitated by Miss Yvette. Yeah. How to search for a job, how to network, 
how to approach and perform in a job interview. I also learn some technical and legislative topics related to my profession. You, my pay colleagues, taught me how to interact with different people, how to work together in a team with people with different backgrounds. I learned from you respect and friendship without geographic borders. With these tools, exactly one year after the beginning of the program, I found a full-time employment in my field. <laughs> Thanks to my resume. Thanks to my uh, oh, thanks to my resume and cover letter, edited by pay staff, of course. My profile on LinkedIn, reviewed by Miss Brooks, and containing the references of my pay colleague Winnie and Basim, and the learning of my teacher Miss Walker at Ryerson University. I was called for an interview. In my interview, I used the knowledge learned during the workshops planned by pay program managers and facilitated by industry experts such as Miss Wallace and Miss Walker lessons. For that reason, when the manager gave me the position, I called Mich Michelle before my wife. <laughs> and this, it was hard for me to not scream my joy on the phone in Italian. I emailed to Miss Brooks, Miss Walker, Basim and Winnie to thank them for their reference. As an environmental scientist with eco-management, company, I mean the company that I'm working for, I'm not a company yet. I have the opportunity to make use of my experience and training. I performed site visit and inspection for phase one and two of uh, environmental site assessment. I collect sample, review reports and documents and written reports. Sometimes I find mice in my way. It happened? What do you want to do? Uh, the pay program allowed me to be an active part of Canadian society. Its, its excellence is not just the management, the choice of the courses, the quality of the teacher, or the incredible amount of time, effort, and resources that were invested in each of us. Maybe the biggest quality of the program is the people. Michelle, Nicole, Costa, Jojotsna, and all the people working on, on their shoulder. Uh, they were friends before manager and mentors. Even in the most difficult moments, I always felt confident and never lonely. I never lost my initial hope. I wish there was a pay program for all the challenges that we face daily. Diet, taxes, mother-in-law, <laughs> Toronto Maple Leaf. <laughs> the, this country is a fair place for everybody, just do not give up. I love Bruce Springsteen song, and in one song of Bruce Springsteen he say, Stay hard, stay hungry, stay alive. And this is especially for uh, my uh, beloved uh, colleague that are struggling for uh, finding a job. You're going to find it. Thank you so much.